If I was in that crowd, I would have jumped up and dragged her off stage. I don't like I don't even know. Do you know when like something is so embarrassing? It's hard for you to talk about it. It's hard for you to even watch it. This might rank as the most cringeworthy, disgraceful, embarrassing things I've ever seen in my life. It's so bad. I haven't watched it fully. Because every because I've seen people talk about it. Every time they show a clip, I can't, I can watch maybe two seconds. I it is so embarrassing. That I'm like, no. So let's start at the beginning. Before I saw that trash, because <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to call it crash, trash. Before I saw, I saw that trash, I was, I think I watched, it was the final, I think it was the women's final. No, actually, no, no. I watched a break dancing thing, so breaking at the Olympics. And I was like, what? What the hell is break dancing doing in the Olympics as an Olympic event? That's it's stupid. And I explain that to us why it's so stupid, but I know like, this is stupid. What is it? What's it doing? Because I'm like, break dancing, that's an artistic expression. It's a form of dance. And it's not about people competing competing against each other for a prize. It's about, hey, we're just having fun. It's part of the original elements of hip hop, and it's about expression through dance. <laughs> Okay, it's not a sport. It's not an athletic sport where you're running against someone. It's fencing or boxing. No, so when I saw it, I was like, what the heck is breakdancing doing? And I'm seeing people wear do-rags and the music playing. I'm like, I'm like what is this? I'm sorry. So when I looked at it, I was like, this, looks ridi- this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And you can talk about a cultural appropriation, but put that to one side. You know, there's a cultural appropriation they put on one side. But there is so much to say about this. I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to to begin. Because, see, I could go deep. I could talk about, because there is a cultural appropriation angle. There is an aborigine angle. There's a history of Australia angle. There's an angle of what Australians did to the Aborigines. Do your Googles. Do your Googles and see what Australians who are, who were criminals from Britain sent to Australia and you saw what those guys did to the indigenous Aborigines there and what they still do to the Aborigines who are natives of that land. That's a whole other discussion, but it's somehow intertwined here. The first question, this is my first question. I've met Australians. And I do have an idea of, you know, the demographics of of Australia. There are quite a few cultures. You are telling a disgusting, filthy lie, saying that this lady beats out other break dancers. You're telling me that in the whole of Australia, she was the best female Australian breakdancer in the whole of Australia. Where I know that there are blacks, there are Filipinos, there are Italians, there are people of different cultures who I know for a fact are just naturally better dancers. Naturally well-versed in hip-hop and are naturally better breakdancers than her. So my question is, who voted for her? How did she get in? Because Australia, you've been embarrassed. This is this this is a disgrace. This is the most embarrassing thing in Olympics history. This is the most embarrassing thing in sporting history. I can't think of anything more embarrassing. It's this was disgraceful. It is so disgraceful. I can't watch more than two seconds. After two seconds, I feel ill. I'm like, what the heck is this? What, I mean, what is this? Because what you're doing is your. This is an insult. So a great art form, which is a break dancing, you are insulting great art form. So let's not be like, because 
I'll, I'll, I'll go in deeper right now. <laughs> if I was in that crowd, I would have jumped up and dragged her off stage. Do which one? I'm doing two things. There are two things I'm doing from that crowd. Two things. Either I'm leaving or I'm going on that stage, dragging her off the stage, dragging her to an airport and booking her a first class flight back to Australia. I mean, guy, I mean, like, what is this? Because I saw some of the clips of the breakdance and I was like, oh, geez, the guy's doing this, this, the spins, the going around. I was like, oh, God, this is some three dynamic acrobatic stuff. Shouldn't be the Olympics, but wow, this is amazing. From great acrobatic, amazing movements, guys spinning on their head, spinning all around on their shoulders, doing 360s, from that to this garbage? Because this is what it's garbage, it's embarrassing, and it's disgraceful. Because let's not get into this whole interpretation crap because this is what she said. All my moves are original. This is original. So let me go into Brett Hansen and do this. This is original. This is original. Let me do this. teach you. Let me do this. So if I do this, can I be a break dancer if I do this? <laughs> Creativity is really important to me. I go out there and I show my artistry. Sometimes it speaks to the judges on... <laughs> As sometimes it doesn't. I do my thing and it represents art. That is what it is about. I was never going to beat these girls on what they do best. The dynamic and the power moves. Oh, <laughs> there is so much trash this lady is saying. That is the fundamentals of break dancing. It's about dynamism. That, you have to have that as a basis. You have to be able to twirl around on your head. You have to be able to do a 360 on your shoulders and spin around. That is the basis because you start that as a, as a fundamental, then it's how creative you can be through there. But at a base fundamental, it's about dynamism and power. That's the fundamental. So you can't say, oh, but I'm going to do something different. Then fine, do something different in your house where no one is watching. <laughs> Not in an Olympic event that's about breakdancing that involves dynamism and power moves. Keep your artistry to yourself. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. Don't bring it out to the international stage and embarrass not only yourself, but your country. So let's move differently. Be artistic and creative because how many chances do you get in a lifetime to do that on an international stage? I was always the underdog and I wanted to make my mark in a different way. You made your mark by embarrassing yourself. Surely you did. But see, here's, here's the whole issue here. You wanted to do something unique. Okay, let me go up there and start pissing everywhere. That's your, your unique. Please, oh, no, 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 no. My artistry is I'm going to go onto the stage and I'm going to just piss. And I'm going to piss on everybody. Wait. That is my artistic integrity. And that is my creativity. Because my creativity is really important to me. And I wanted to do something different. So my own individual artistry that you must respect is I'm going to go up there and piss on everybody. Can you now see the slippery slope we're in? Rachel. There is a fundamental of what breakdancing is about that everyone who has listened to hip-hop knows. What she did was ignore that fundamental and you rightfully got zero. I'd have given you minus 10. I'd have given you minus 10. So I'd have given you zero for you not actually breakdancing and actually insulting the art form. And I'd give you minus 10 for just the audacity to do that crap. <laughs> just the audacity to, 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 to do that crap. Because, see, guys, it started in New York, you know, hip hop, break dancing. And this is where I just get the issue of even bringing this in. Because this is art. And art shouldn't be judged. 
you can't judge art. Once you bring in subjectivity, you can't judge it. It's like, so for instance, so whenever you have guys do like a battle, like a battle, yeah? Sometimes people will say, oh, he won. No, he won. And people can have different views. I'll give you a great example. So for guys who really know, because I watch a lot of battle rap, old battle rap, this is one of the greatest battle raps ever between Modern Mook and Jay Mills. I have watched the battle about 20 times. And I'm like, you know what? I think Jay Mills won. Actually, I think Modern Mook won. And every time I watch it, I keep catching new things and say, you know what? I think Modern Mook won. No, I think Jay Mills won because it was such an amazing battle and they were both really good. If someone say Jay Mills won, you could be right. If someone said Modern Mook won, you could be right. So once you're now bringing subjectivity into it, that shouldn't really be a sport, especially on the Olympics. Because you can't deny that I came first. You came second. You came third. I was the first to reach the finishing line. I scored more goals than you. I got more points than, than you. You see, when you have mathematics, math is undeniable. <laughs> First, second, third. I got there first. You got there second. You got there third. You cannot refute maths. You can't argue maths. Mathematics and arts, they don't mix. They don't mix. So to bring break dancing into it, which is an art form associated with hip hop and rap, how do you judge it? How do you judge, oh, oh, he did five spins. Oh, he only did six spins. Oh, I liked your spin a lot better. I'm like... Because again, you can interpret things differently. And I think especially in something like a sport where so much is at stake, there should be definitive criteria that says, oh yeah, you say what's up. Which is why I think that for gymnastics, it's true, but at least for in gymnastics, I think there's a much more finite criteria in gymnastics than there is in freaking it's freaking breakdancing. <laughs> okay. See, gymnastics, there's a huge massive history of that being a competitive sport. Break dancing did not begin as a sport. It began as, we just want to dance. And we just want to express ourselves. Then, okay, let's now compete and go against each other. But even when we're going against each other, it's still in a musical expressive sense. You know? Um, but my thing though is, so which is why I say like, for the Grammys as well, <laughs> Grammys should never exist. Because it's subjective. The albums are one that was like, no, I don't think that was good. But again, art is subjective. Because people can say, oh, this is good, this is bad, that is bad, this is good. So the, and bro, Thriller, people say it's the greatest album of all time. I think Off the Wall is better than Thriller. I think Off the Wall is Michael Jackson's best album and one of the best albums ever. And I believe as an album, as a body of work, Off the Wall is a better album than Thriller. But many people disagree with me. <laughs> but again, it's subjective. One thing that isn't subjective, though, one thing that isn't subjective, though, is this. This is objectively trash. Objectively, this is trash. So, Rachel, I don't know about interpretation, artistic, or how people view. There is nobody on planet Earth with half a brain cell that looks at that and says, that is a great example of breakdancing. Now, in terms of some kind of weirdo artistic movement, oh, I'm sure it's great. Breakdancing, of what you know breakdancing to be, that was garbage. Objectively garbage. <laughs> and Lord only knows what my guy feels about this. That's Common, amazing rapper, bro. Common, Pete Roth, amazing album. Lord only knows what he thinks. Basically, go onto YouTube, look at come on, at his age, do some break dancing. And you're like, wow. So Rachel, go look at come on. <laughs> A guy who, I'm sure the guy is mostly focused on rapping and his art of rap and also some acting as well. But he just turned up, surprised people and just did some break dancing. Watch that. That's break dancing. <laughs> you, can, you can't reinterpret that or break those fundamentals. You have to respect the fundamentals of what's breakdancing now. You can't reinvent its fundamentals that have been around since the freaking 70s. <laughs> okay? Those fundamentals have existed since the 70s. So 
by saying, oh no, I'm going to forget the history of this has been around since the 70s. I'm going to not try and do something new because I can't compete with them. If you can't compete with people who understand the fundamentals, don't even try to compete. Because by you disrespecting the fundamentals with that trash you put up there, it's insulting. So for me, no, I am going to insult it because people say, oh, you're too harsh, don't be too harsh, respect. So no, what she did was insulting. What she did was disrespectful. So if you're going to disrespect breakdancing, I'm going to disrespect you. You should never, ever be allowed anywhere near breakdancing. And whoever, with the judges who put her forth, they should all be sacked or jailed or imprisoned or stoned. <laughs> jailed, incarcerated or stoned. The people who put on a flight and sent her as a representative of your country at the Olympics. <laughs> you know, that's wild. Um, but speaking about this Olympic stuff, man, if we're going to have breakdancing, if we're going to have breakdancing at the Olympics, it's time. So which one, guys, video games are not like Mario anymore. Esports, is, it's, it's, a, it's a sport. There is a skill to a Street Fighter player. There is a skill to a Call of Duty player. There is a skill to a FIFA player. If we're going to have breakdancing, this is one of the fastest growing sports with arguably the biggest community of fans on the planet. Respect gaming. <laughs> Respect gamers. Okay, because what you know, I'm a brick gamer, I'm a trash gamer, but I am grown up in a household that has had pretty much every video game console, in a household that has been obsessed with gaming, and me, from buying game magazines to playing MMOs, RPGs, football games, I've been well versed in just the gaming culture, and... I understand the level of skill of an elite video game player. There is a skill. It's not a game. There is a skill. So if you're going to bring in breakdancing where, how do you judge? Oh, you can judge when Ryu has just done three billion Hadoukens and has beaten you. You can judge some, oh yeah, I got 50 kills. I was, I was the first of 50 kills. Oh, I captured that flag. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I scored more goals than you. So in esports, there is no room for interpretation of like, well, this is how I express 50 kills. So you may get 50 kills, but my 45 kills are better than your 50 kills. No, 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 no. I got 50 kills first. I win. Three rounds in Street Fighter, I beat you. Two to one, I win. <laughs> so, because... Esports makes a lot more sense as an Olympic sport for objective competition than breakdancing, which see breakdancing is subjective, it's about interpretation. Esports, no, they are winners and losers. He won, he lost. There is no room for interpretation there. <laughs> so bring so bring in esports. I I I have no idea how esports is not already an Olympic sport. Because it's one of the biggest industries on the planet. And the gaming community is one of the biggest industries on in the world. The gaming industry is one of the biggest industries on the planet. In the world. And I'm, I'm sorry, guys. The world is changing. <laughs> the young people are the future. The old people, you guys are going to die out. The young people are the future. And the young people, they game. They play games. They watch video games. They adore these video gamers who are professionals. They are... They're just a different form of athlete. The athlete doesn't have to be someone who, oh, it's children's drunk. This is just a different form of an athlete who have incredibly high hand-eye coordination. And their brain is working on a crazy level to be extremely astute at something like Call of Duty, at something like a FIFA, at something like a Street Fighter or a Tekken. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry. See, breakdancing, no. That should never be in the Olympics. Breakdancing is art. And let it remain to be art. You know? Um, it's art. Art should never be competitive. Art should never be judged. And there are no winners or losers in art. It's art. It's interpretation. And it's about expression. That's what it's about. It's just about expressing. But... Um, I personally, people may think that I'm, I think she should be jailed. Personally. 
if it was me, I'm giving her 25 to her life. For what she, she, she did, she should, be, she should be put into prison. Solitary confinement. Denzel, 24-hour lockdown. Shoot program. 